I don't know why I keep forgetting to do my intros. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I show y'all how to do a really neutral glam eye that goes with absolutely any lip possible. And I actually do swatch a few different lip colors for y'all from blue to orange to black to prove that this eye goes with absolutely any lip in your collection. Also, please stay tuned until the end of the video. I am doing a giveaway. We have surpassed 100 subscribers. And yeah, just keep on watching if you wanna see how to get this look as well as how to enter the giveaway. So I did the first eye off of camera just cause I had no idea what I was gonna do. I thought I was gonna do something colorful just because I'm trying out the P. Louise makeup base or what? The P. Louise eyeshadow base for the first time. Shout out to Kelsey. Kelsey, I don't... I don't know why if she was just feeling generous that day, just thinking about little old me. But she ordered me the eyeshadow base and like literally just out of the kindness of her heart. Like what a real ass bitch. Like so anyway, so I'm today I'm using the P. Louise eyeshadow base. I feel like such an YouTuber. Honestly, I wanted to use this more so for more bold colors, like a more bold look, but I don't know why I've just been so into neutrals recently i don't know what it is i do have a look that i do want to do that's kind of bold so i'm probably gonna do that tomorrow maybe but yeah instead i chose to do something that's kind of glam but it'll go with absolutely any lip color that you can think of and i will show you at the end of the video i will be showing you different lip colors that this eyeshadow look can go with so yeah let's get started as mentioned i am using the p louise eyeshadow base i feel like this mirror is so huge so my mom got me this mirror because she was tired of me using like little compact mirrors but i don't know i just like compact mirrors because i could literally get in there and see everything and honestly because i'm gonna be so close to my eye i actually am gonna use a compact today because i need to see what the hell i'm doing sorry mom so yeah i'm going to prime my what i'm going to prime my eyelid and bring it up into the crease a little bit with this base then i don't know why i threw the brush nope not that one then i take kind of like a stiff fluffy brush and just lightly pat that and like blend that out can we talk about like how i haven't done an eyeshadow tutorial in so long I feel like I just don't do bold eyeshadow looks. I don't do any eyeshadow looks worth filming anyway. I don't know why. I just been into like the neutral glam, soft glam. I don't, and I couldn't tell you why. I don't know where it came from. Okay, now that I have that blended, I'm gonna go in with like a thinner, stiff, but still kind of fluffy, dense brush. Now I'm gonna dip into this ColourPop I Think I Love You palette. And I'm going to go in with the shade Bel Air. It's just a pretty neutral palette. And I'm gonna go in with this shade right here to start. It's in the shade Bel Air. And I'm gonna load the brush up with that. And I'm going to start in with the padding motion and like pack that into the crease just to deposit the color first and then start blending in really small circular motions. Don't knock ColourPop guys. Look how, it, I mean, it could be the eyeshadow base, it could be the eyeshadow or maybe a mix of the two, but it's blending like a dream i personally like to bring my eyeshadow pretty high up by the brow bone just because i like to make my eyes look a little bit bigger i like to give myself more lid space that's just a personal preference you do your eyeshadow to how you feel flatters your eye next i'm going to dip into the oh, i have so much stuff on my lap next i'm going to dip into the james charles palette Ugh, this thing is huge and I'm going to use this brown right here. It's just literally 
a tinge darker than the other brown and I'm going to start adding that to the crease as well. I don't know if y'all noticed, I'm focusing the shade more so on the outer corner of the eye and then bringing the excess into the inner corner. Also, another note, I like to keep my mirror pretty low. That way I'm looking down into the mirror and there's no like wrinkles in your eye, you know? It kind of like stretches out your lid if that makes sense. That way it's just easier for blending. You have like a softer, smoother canvas. I don't know if that makes sense. It just, it helps me. Now that that shade is blended in, I'm going to go into, yeah. <coughs> okay, so obviously this isn't a one palette type of tutorial. <laughs> Don't hate me. If you guys actually want to see me do those, comment down below what palette you want me to use and you want me to give you a look. You know, if you need kind of inspiration to use the palette. Because I be dipping into like six different palettes to do one look. So, and you see how neutral this is, like... <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to go into this Fairy Tales palette by Storybook Cosmetics. Oh, it's the Robin Hood palette. Wow, I've never noticed this until today. Wow. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go into the shade Nottingham and I'm going to add that as well. Again, starting from the outer corner and bringing that up into the crease, the crease. I really could have done my face makeup first, but if you guys noticed, I thought I was gonna do like a bold look, but I don't know, I just chickened out. But now that I've been sitting here thinking the juices have been flowing, I think I know what kind of look I wanna do that's gonna be bold and not as neutral and not as boring, which I mean, let me rephrase, this isn't boring, this is cute, it's just neutral. Okay, I think I got like an idea of something else that I want to do that's a little more bold. Wow, this light <laughs> makes it look like it's all one color. That's funny. Okay, anyway, going back into the James Charles palette, I'm going to dip into this dark shade up here and add that pretty much in the same area of the eye just a little lower and a little tighter and with a smaller brush just we want to focus it more in this area again in the outer corner and blend up Don't forget, you can literally always use your fingers as a tool for anything. If you have just like a little bit of a harsh line, you can always just go in with your finger and like tap it out. All right, then I'm going to take, I don't even know what kind of brush this is. I think this is like a lip brush, but I just know it's really, really small. And I'm going to take the shade Forest, which is this dark shade from that Robin Hood palette. I can't believe I'm just not noticing the name. Like I thought the palette just didn't have a name. And I'm going to put that real tight to the lash line. But as I get closer to the inner corner of the eye, I'm going to thin it out and make it thicker on the outer corner of the eye. And really, really blend and smudge that out. Wow, I'm an idiot. I forgot to carve out my eye a little bit. It's okay, it's okay. Just going in with whatever's remaining from that uh, eyeshadow base you really don't need too much i'm just going to just carve out the um the lid a little bit nothing too crazy nothing too sharp just so when we put the lighter color on there it pops some wow i can't believe i forgot to do this step it's okay so because I already have that shadow against the lash line, I'm just going to blend this out my finger a little bit because I'm not trying to mess up too much what I already did. Then going back in with the dark color, the darker brown that we used from that James Charles palette and just lightly blending over. And of course, setting that uh, lid. That's it, problem solved. 
Like nothing ever happened. <laughs> I guess that's the downside of doing one eye before the other. I forget what the heck I even did. All right, so back to lining this like I was doing, smudging, lining. Then with an even tighter brush, I'm going to go into a black shadow and really, really put that as close to the lash line as possible. And we're not gonna bring it obviously as high as the brown. We're gonna blend it up to the brown, but we still want that brown to peek through. All right, I'm going to quickly highlight underneath the brown just with a shimmer shade. What? Highlight underneath the brown. I'm going to quickly highlight underneath the brow with a shimmer shade from the James Charles palette. Just literally right underneath the arch is where I'm going to concentrate that highlight. Then if it gets too intense, which I think it did, I'm just gonna go back in with whatever fluffy brush and blend that out. Okay, so I'm gonna quickly do a wing. I'm using the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. I like how black it is. Yeah, this eyeliner isn't bad. I really, really like it. I personally haven't used a liquid eyeliner to do my um, wing like ever, cause I'm always super intimidated. But the felt tip pens, this one is a really, really good one. So for this wing, I actually wanted to be a little straighter than my usual wings. Cause I wanna give like a, the fox eye effect and i also don't want it to be that long and once i get to the inner part of my eye i literally kind of want the wing to like disappear i want it to really really thin out just so that all the drama is on the outside of the eye this one came out a lot thicker and a little longer than this one but you know we're not gonna talk about that we're not gonna talk about that so while that dries or before that dries i should say i'm gonna go back in with the brown shade and just kind of very, very lightly smudge over the wing. Just so it looks like more of a shadow. For today's eyelash, I'm pretty sure this is the Lavish Lash from Anaya's Beauty. I I don't know why, for whatever reason, I can never keep track of her lashes, like which goes in which box. But she has beautiful lashes. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and slap on the lash and I will be right back. Actually, I am going to put my lashes on with y'all just because I completely forgot to mention that I put on my lash a little bit differently today just to make it look a little bit more, you know, because that fox eye trend is going around. And if you don't know, I'm letting you know. <laughs> There's this fox eye trend going around where your eye just looks real like foxy and sultry. So I'm actually going to put the lash kind of like on the wing a little bit kind of like higher than my lash line. I don't know if that makes sense, just to make it look a little bit more, you know, cat eye -y. And I'm going to take some eyelash tweezers to pinch my lashes with the falsies. And I don't know if you could see that it kind of looks a little bit lifted, makes my eyes look a little bit more almond shaped. Also to help conceal, I'm just gonna go in with a black, eyeliner pencil and go into the waterline or whatever this is oh yeah i don't know if you guys see that makes all the difference Ooh, okay so now that the eyes are done for the most part i am going to i think i want to darken up my brows actually <laughs> They look just a little bit too light for me right now that I have my full face on. So I'm just gonna go ahead, if I could find a brush. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and darken up my brows. Yeah, that's much better. I felt like my eye was just a little bit too bold for the natural brow that I was rocking. Okay, so now that I'm done for my eyes, for my eyes, now that I'm done with my eyes, for the most part, I'm gonna go ahead and finish my face off of camera and I will be back to show y'all different lip options. Okay, so the face is complete and now let's get into some lip options. I'm gonna show y'all how this eye look could literally go with any lip. 
Let's just start off bold. That way I can end the video with a neutral lip and actually stay that way. Okay, orange. I'm just gonna apply it straight from the tube and hope for the best. Oh, <laughs> wow, I didn't think I was gonna like this color this much. This is fun. This is in the shade Baddie by Kylie Cosmetics. I really, really like this. I love this shade. I've never just put on the shade by itself. I actually mixed it with the red the one time I did wear it to make it more of like a orangey, like really popping red. But I love this by itself. So that's lip option number one. Next, I think I want to do like a red lip. Right? Red will be fun. Yeah, let's do a red lip. This is NYX Hot Red Lip Liner, by the way. Then I'm going to take the classic, if I've had this forever, look how gross and crusty it looks. The classic MAC Ruby Woo. Y'all, I love a red lip. I love, love, love a red lip. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, next color. Next, I'm going to do a pink color. I don't really like pink, but I feel like there's someone in the world who likes pink lipstick, so why not do pink? This one is from NYX. It is called Pinky. Then I'm going to go in with Pink Plaid from MAC. Now, pink isn't a personal favorite of mine. Like, I would never just wear a pink like this. But for the gals who like the Barbie pink, this eye look still is flattering. Still cute. Next color. This one is called Turks and Caicos by Fenty Beauty. I love this color. I don't know why I don't wear it. Well, I mean, I know why. I don't know where I would wear it too, but the color is fire. Mm, love this. I love this color. This color right here is just delicious. Oh, I feel fabulous with this on. Mmm, Texas and Caicos, Fenty Beauty. Yeah, I really like this. I might take some selfies in this one really quick. I'll be back. All right, now I think I want to do more of like a berry mauve lip for my girls that are into those berry tones. I'm not, but again, just trying to prove my point. This eye could literally go with everything. And I'm going to take the shade Saucy Mauve. I think this is from L'Oreal. Hmm. That's not as berry as I thought it was gonna be. Let me add a little, a little more some shum. Okay, that's more of like the berry tone that I was looking for. So I just mixed this Saucy Mauve color with this super deep shade from this BH Cosmetics lip palette that I have. Just so y'all could see that this eye also goes with the muted berry color if that's what you're into also. My lips are gonna hate me after this. Okay, next I want to do more of like a ombre lip. I could find the lip liner I'm needing with the lipstick I'm needing. Yes. So I'm going to go in with Night Moth Lip Liner from MAC. Then I'm going to take Flat Out Fabulous from MAC as well. Put that in the center. 
Oh man, I forgot how fire this combination is. Oh, oh, no, I didn't just do this to y'all. This one might be selfie worthy too. I love a good ombre lip. So let me put on a gloss too. Oh, oh yeah, let me get some selfies. I'll be right back. All right, I think this one is going to be my last one <laughs> before I actually leave whatever lip I'm going to leave to complete this look because my lips are starting to burn a little bit. And I really can't think of any other lip combinations. So... Wow. This one's for all my goth bays. Ooh. Ooh. I didn't think I was gonna like this one this much. This one is Uninvited Stunna Lip Paint by Fenty. When I first got this, I was like, why the hell did I let the lady at Sephora convince me to buy a black lip? Like, where am I gonna wear a black lip? And this is it. Like, I... <laughs> I don't know I was gonna love this as much. Damn, I really, really like this black lip. <laughs> like this one probably might be my favorite, believe it or not. And yeah, I just went ahead and threw on a simple nude lip with a gloss, of course. Y'all know I'm a glossy girl just to close out the video. But before I go, I do wanna let y'all know that we have surpassed 100 subscribers. So as my gift to y'all, I appreciate it so much. I'm so grateful that 100 plus people are subscribed to my channel, to me, and watch me, and like me. Like, <laughs> it just makes me feel that warm on the inside. So as my gift to you, as my thank you to you, I'm going to be gifting you a product that you see me use in any of my videos that you either have wanted to try, but for whatever reason can't. And yeah, I will be gifting that to one lucky winner all you have to do is comment either on this video or on my last video my body update video just leave your instagram handle your facebook name anywhere that i can contact you and let me know what product it is that you want and yeah we'll take it from there oh i'm so excited i love giveaways but yeah Again, thank y'all so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. That way we can keep growing slowly but surely. We are growing, guys. And I will see y'all in my next video.